Hey guys, happy new month. Happy new month, my cuties. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's 1st of May, 2024. Do you know, guys, I'm so happy. Why? I'm excited because we have not missed a day in this hour word for today. We've been doing this since 1st of January, 2024. I promised my God, no matter how, you know, busy my schedule is, I will do this and God has been my strength. Okay, cuties, you know my prayers for you towards this May, okay, all through this May. If you've not watched the video, please watch the video, okay? It's just before this one I'm doing now. So guys, it's time for our wait for today and accept from UCB Island. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well, okay? This month is going to be a great and favorable month for you. All right, my darling. So, like I said, it's time for our word for today and exit from UCB Island. All right, what is our topic today? Our topic today says going forwards or going back. We want to go forward. We don't want to go back. Okay. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16. And I read from my Bible. It says, and Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. You guys know the story of Naomi, Ruth, and Oprah. All right. Okay, let's continue. The book of Ruth illustrates the difference between those who step out in faith and take risks and those who give in to fear, play it safe, and miss God's best for them. The book begins with these words, There was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab. He and his wife, Naomi, and his two sons. Things went well for a while, then tragedy struck. First, Naomi's son, Elimelech, died, and she was left with her two sons. They married local girls named Oprah and Ruth, and then the sons died. Wow. Overwhelmed with grief, Naomi decides to return home to Bethlehem and advises her two daughters-in-law to stay in Moab and hopefully find husbands and raise families. Wow, that's really a very good mother-in-law. Okay, let's continue. This is where the difference shows up in the two girls. Oprah decided to stay in Moab, even though it was a place of heartache and hard times. Why? Because it was the place she knew. Okay, It was her comfort zone. She didn't have the faith to go forwards. Ruth was different. She said to Naomi, wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Oprah went back roots went forwards and it paid off back in bethlehem she met boaz her new husband not only was he wealthy but he took good care of her and they had a son from whom descended both king david and our blessed lord jesus god rewards faith not fear so the word for today is it's time to break with the past and move forwards praise the lord hey we have to move forward it is first of may okay we're not thinking about all the worries and all the pain and all the hurting that we went through in april okay now it is may guys we have to think forward and in faith not in fear praise the lord hallelujah so step out of faith and take risk okay and not give into fear god rewards faith and not fear so break with the past and move forward okay 
let's understand that forward leads to something good okay and backwards is not always ending good you understand what i mean so god bless those who do what who move forward and not those that think about the past because what would even the past do for you it's just there to destroy and make you start thinking and dwelling on the past makes the devil reminds you of how you failed or how you you made mistake or your ex or bad things that happened to you or people that betrayed you what are you even going to do with those things it's going it's going to weigh you down it's going to continue to make you think about the things you missed or the opportunities or what happened to you so why don't you use that energy and time to think forward with faith, it is complete. Put all your energy, all your effort in thinking forward because God has something beautiful in store for you, my darling. Okay? Yes, and that is it for today for us. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Island. I want to thank you so much for listening. All right, my darling. And also, we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Kind of refer back to my previous videos. Just down the description, you're going to see all the chapters we've read. But for today, we are reading 1 Samuel chapter 22, chapter 23, and chapter 24, and John chapter 13 from verse 1 to 20. Thank you again for listening. You know I love you, but God loves you most. See you in my next video and don't forget to share to bless a soul. I love you. Happy New Year months in short happy blessed happy favorable happy 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 new month i love you see you next time and bye bye